So what does a virtual assistant really do? What is that virtual assistant job description? Well, it might look a heck of a lot like this, but let's get into some more details. Um, I can really work from home in my pajamas? Yes. Hey, I'm Abby Ashley, the founder of The Virtual Savvy. I've helped thousands of virtual assistants start their own business from scratch. If you want information on how to start your own virtual assistant business, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified every single time I go live. How do I know so much about the virtual assistant life? Why do I wear pajamas so very often? Well, I've been training virtual assistants since 2016. I have a community of over 40,000 VAs and it is my absolute passion to help them figure out how to do this work from home thing. So what does a virtual assistant really do from day to day? Maybe you've been looking up virtual assistant job descriptions and you're not really finding anything. Why can't I find a virtual assistant description? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you a virtual assistant job description that you've been looking for. And I'm also gonna give you a sneak peek into the life of behind the scenes of what a day in the life of a VA really looks like. Let's talk first about that job description. The cool thing is the job description is totally up to you. I like to call virtual assistants a lifestyle business because you have the business fit around your life and not the other way around. Business hours, your choice. Tasks, you get to decide. Work hours, totally up to you. Wearing pajamas to work every day, all day. A virtual assistant can be any type of remote assistant who provides administrative, creative, or technical support services for online or brick and mortar business owners. If you're still a little curious about what a virtual assistant is, you can click on my video in the link below. Ready to check out a day in the life of a virtual assistant? I've asked one of my students to give you a sneak peek into her life, what it looks like as she works from home as a VA. Have you ever wondered what it looks like in the day-to-day -day life of a virtual assistant? In today's video, I'm going to welcome you behind the scenes into my life as a virtual assistant and kind of give you an idea of what the day-to-day -day life looks like, as well as give you some of my top tips for maximizing your productivity every day. So welcome to my life as a virtual assistant. No, my name is not Abby Ashley. My name is Rachel. I am currently the executive assistant at The Virtual Savvy. I'm also a wife, a mother of three littles, eight, five, and 18 months. And I'm also the CEO owner and proud owner of my own virtual assistant business, Rad Virtual Support. My, one of my favorite things about owning my own virtual assistant business is I get to make the choices. I can choose who I work with, I choose what services I'm going to offer. I choose how much I'm going to charge for those services. I even choose when I'm going to work. And that is one of my favorite things about becoming a virtual assistant and owning my own business. Now, every day is going to look different. Your day may look different than my day, but I would love to give you a glimpse into what my days look like give you as much information as I can and spare you kind of the minor details. So let's jump in. What does my day look like? How does it start? Nowadays with a toddler, it's pretty dependable that I don't need an alarm clock. My toddler usually wakes me up around 6, 6.30 every morning. I get up with him, I get him settled. If I've had my coffee and able to, I might check in some of my inboxes that I'm responsible for just to see if there's anything urgent that I need to make sure that I put at the top of my list. But it's not always guaranteed that I'm going to get something done right away early in the morning before my other kids get up and start getting ready for the school day. Once I get my kids off and ready for school, they get on the bus, then around 8.30 my day kicks into high gear. I start at the top of my list and I just start working down. Now during this time, I'm in my office, which is located in my kids' playroom. So my toddler is usually a busybody, playing, sometimes getting into things. Um, I often have to redirect, but I'm able to sit at my desk and watch him as I get some work done. 
I've also started utilizing a great resource in my community and that's my local YMCA. I'm able to go there, take my laptop, I check my son in for some playtime, I can sit down, focus on some work, and as a bonus sometimes even get a little workout in as well while I'm there. And I love utilizing that resource to get work done. Now, after lunchtime, game on. It's nap time. I put my toddler down for bed. My older kids are still at school. I can put my head down and really focus on what I need to get done. And this is my prime time. I'm able to focus on my tasks and get things done as quickly as possible. And I love making a plan, writing a list. I'm gonna go over that in a little bit later in the video on how I do that, but I start from the top and work my way down hour by hour. I love time blocking. Um, so I work through my list during that nap time and my number one goal is to get as much done as I can so that when my kids get off the bus between 3.30 and 4, I'm able to close my laptop kick into mommy mode and take care of the evening responsibilities. Now, depending on how the day goes and what responsibilities I have or projects that I'm working on, I may or may not need to jump in in the evening hours to get some work done. If I do, I usually will do this during some downtime after dinner time or when the kids go to bed. That's also a great time to work because it's quiet in the house and I can focus on what I need to focus on. Now, as mentioned, I am married. I do have a husband and he is an active part of my business. Although he works crazy retail hours, he often travels or often works late. He is the best business partner that I could ask for. He supports wherever and whenever I need. He'll take care of household duties so that I can focus on maybe some lingering tasks that I have to, or just give me a break so that I'm able to take care of myself. So that's a little picture and a walkthrough of my day, but I wanted to give you you some actionable tips on how to maximize your productivity every day. The first one is to make a plan. I make a plan every day on what I plan to accomplish and I write it down. I still use pen and paper and I also use some great online resources. And I will write down hour by hour what I plan to work on. I have a great planner that I use where I am able to write down each hour my primary focus. If you're not a paper and pen person, there's some great online resources to use. Um, you could use Trello, Asana, ClickUp, even Google. Google Calendar can be your best friend in helping you make a plan and getting things accomplished during your workday. Now, what's my second tip? Second tip is open communication. And there are two people that I want you to have open communication with primarily when it becomes to being a virtual assistant. First of all, your clients. Make sure that you are keeping an open line of communication with your clients so that they know where you are working, what you're doing, what projects you are, the progress you're making in your projects. I highly recommend doing a touch base on a regular basis so that you can keep them informed. The second person that I want or people that I want you to have open communication with is your family. Let your family know what's going on in your business. Let them know what you have planned for the week. Let them know what you have planned for the day. That'll help them support you better in the ebb and flow of the stress levels that sometimes can come with being a virtual assistant because you might have deadlines or it might be a launch season. Lots of different variables that can happen with being a virtual assistant and you want your family to know so that they can support you well. So make a plan, have open communication, and the next thing is take care of you. I am very challenged by asking for help, um, but I have come to realize that when I do reach out for support, whether it be from a friend, family member, or even a client, like if I'm willing to reach out for support, I am able to be a better virtual assistant. And being in a support role, it's so easy to take care of your clients and worry about what you have to get done for them and you so often forget about you. And for all of us, it's gonna look different. 
It may be a walk around the block. It may be sitting down for a, a read or listening to a podcast. It may be coffee or wine with a friend. It could be watching a movie, eating some popcorn, or maybe even a massage or pedicure. For everybody, it looks different. But I once had a great friend tell me, you can't be on unless you're off. And as a virtual assistant, it's so important that we turn off, that we unplug our work take a break and take care of ourselves. And my last tip for maximizing your productivity is to use your resources. There are so many resources available to you. Some of the resources that I have learned to utilize is my local Y, my YMCA. I do pay for a membership there, but that membership gives me a good chunk of time that I can drop my son off and get childcare and focus on some work as well as take care of myself. It's money out of my business well spent to take care of me and also to save me time and energy. Another resource that I first of all laughed at was grocery ordering and delivering. Okay, you all, when this first came out, I thought, that's just pure laziness. Like, what in the world? I will never do that. Okay, as a mommy of three, I have realized that ordering my groceries and having them either delivered or for easy pickup has saved me time, saved me energy, and allowed me to get things done that I wouldn't be able to in that time frame that I would have to go to the grocery store. There are resources available um, in your community that you may not be aware of, Go out and find them, be creative, think out of the box. It may even just be an online support group that you can vent to or talk to, but find that resource, get connected and utilize them. Okay, y'all, that's a sneak peek into my life as a virtual assistant. Not every day is filled with fun and laughter and completely completed to-do lists. Trust me, there are often things that don't get accomplished and they have to wait till tomorrow. And some days are filled with tears and frustrations and just plain not enough time. But I am doing something that I love, that I'm passionate about, and that I have created to be my own and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Does it take hard work? Absolutely. But you are changing your life and probably changing your family's life. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. So now that you know what a virtual assistant does, are you ready to get started as one? If so, make sure that you download my virtual assistant checklist and starter kit. It's literally everything you need to know step by step to show you how to start your own virtual assistant business from scratch. And make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos just like this one. Now it's my turn to ask you, if you already work from home, what's your favorite thing about working from home? Or if you don't work from home yet, what do you think you'll love about the work from home lifestyle? Lastly, if you liked this video, make sure you check out some of my other incredible videos on starting your own virtual assistant business. Seriously, this is the mug my husband wanted me to use for this video. Yeah, he was in the circus. There's literally an elephant inside of it. <laughs>